welcome to another episode of Inspired Conversations, Living the Legacy with Legends. My name is Unkarabile Wisdom Mukoto and I am your host. God has been described as God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Tabo Solomon Lameni has written a book titled Fatherhood and Sonship, and he has joined me today to discuss more about his book. Mr. Tawese, thank you for coming to the show and you're welcome. Thank you very much. I'm honored, sir. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a young man who grew up in Lachtenbeck, okay. the former Buputatswana. Yeah, I, I grew up that naughty boy in the church. When a mom was a mom, I know him, other things you pass them, and was then assumed that. Yeah, but I became a, a, a minister after what I've uh, I've studied theology, business, and other things. I'm just a, a, a man of God, humble man of God. Okay. Yes, sir. Short and, and just <laughs> straight <laughs> to the point. Yeah. Now, the love of writing. I mean, you've written about three books up to so far. Yeah, four, yeah. Four, actually, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. The love of writing. Yeah. Where did you get that? Yeah, you know, Konomuto was a slung. Life gives you lessons, and you learn, le you learn lessons out of them. You do that through many things. After going through many things, you must learn. Yeah, life does not give you formal class teaching. Life gives you tests and tests and tests, and you learn from those tests, and you come up with a product. So after going through what I went through, I, I, I was processed. And after being processed, I realized well, there's too much in me that I've not given out. And uh, what my first book, uh, I wrote it, it's called self Discovered. I wrote it after my ordeal of being arrested. Uh, I was a pastor and it happened that I got arrested. <laughs> yeah, <I know>. <laughs> <laughs> after getting arrested, I, I, God had to speak to me. It was one of the, the pits that I fell into, uh, you know, from prison to pulpit again. But uh, the, first, the first book that I wrote, I wrote it after God separated me from people and God separated me from things and I, I used to love writing but I never had time to do the right thing but prison uh, made me come together yeah I just want to know the story I mean a pastor being arrested yeah <laughs> <laughs> I mean that thing yeah I want to uh, we never uh, it's not the fault of anybody because as, as, as I learn and I grow that that mentors uh, don't choose mentees. Mentees choose mentors. So it was my duty to find somebody who has worked before me who would teach me things. And it's national and we never had classes, we never taught, but it is our duty to find somebody who will teach us. So I I befriended wrong, wrong people while born again. I I started doing things that that, that put me under pressure and that uh, and, and that me in prison. I ended up uh, buying a student car and ended in prison. And, uh, and I remember the, the, the magistrate said to me, you know what, I want to give you this, this, this few months so that you must learn and, and be, and, uh, we, want, we want to set an example. <laughs> yeah, she knew, and she knew that I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a born again and I'm a pastor, but I did this. And she said, because of your record, they traced my record, said, because of this, you knew what you were doing. Just because we knew what you were doing, we want, to, we want you to go and learn something. That is a hard lesson. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Now let's let's talk about your book. I mean, you, you you've written a book. It's, it's your fourth book. This one. Yeah, is it yeah, your this fourth is the book? last one. Yeah. Fatherhood and yeah, sonship. Yeah. Um, what inspired you? You know, we are living in a days where fatherhood and sonship have been misused and misunderstood by many people. Mm. So I just want you to know what actually inspired you. Uh, this book is inspired by also again life lessons, but moreover, it's my ministry life. My my ministry experience taught me and uh, enlightened me of many things. After after I came from prison, I visited one of the areas in uh, in the northwest, and as I arrived there, it was I was invited in one of the churches, which was my spiritual son, a person that I gave Christ. I shared the word. He grew he grew up under me. And he became a, a, a staunch Christian under my teachings. But there was a time when I just did not take care of the, 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 my sons and daughters in that area. And as I went there, the person was submitting under another man. And uh, uh, the truth be told, I was hurt. Yeah. <laughs> truth be told, I was hurt. And then 
I realized that this is not the only person that I never nurtured. This is not the only person that I preached to and never cared cared for. Uh, uh, you would agree with me, Uguti, there are many people that we see about Shumaiza, but after that, we don't know what happens to them. Uh, we, we teach them, we, 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 we pray for them. After preaching the gospel, we, we open a vacancy for them, for them, Baba Varna Labor outside there, and they become open for other things, they, be, they meet these other people, they adopt them, they teach them things that you do not teach them. So you, as you grow, you look at people that you preach to, it might have made a mess, and never became the good father. Yeah, and this, though, this is not only uh, for spirituality, it also refers to the to the family life. You, you, you know we have many fathers who yeah. who give birth to kids and never even cared for them. Yeah. yeah. You know, there is this man of God who wrote a book titled um, Growing, Growing Up Without a Father. Mm. And, and his subtitle is Are We a Fatherless Generation? And, mm. and that's the question that I, you know, I always ask, that are we really a fatherless generation? Mm. And I, I want to bring it to you. <laughs> <laughs> are we, are no. we a fatherless generation? Uh, I, I disagree. We are not the fatherless uh, generation. You know, taking back uh, to the word of God, actually the, the, the gender of, uh, of the human being in origin has no gender. Uh, that is why we have uh, single parents who are females, who are doing a great job, more than fathers. Uh, because the you in you has no gender. The gender is only in the flesh. That is why you find uh, women who are doing much better jobs than Abu Baba, Abba So uh, we are not a fatherless because we have those women who are taking that, that role. But originally, a man, uh, the Bible says in, in, in Genesis chapter 1, God created men, he created men, and he, he made female and a, and, and, and male, out of a man, meaning that the female, the female and the, uh, a woman and a man, there are two things, that is just that a, a woman is a man with a womb. So the, the, in the absence of a real male, because the woman is also a man, the, he, can, he can take the responsibility of a man, an absent man, because there are also those men who are at home but absent. You know the absent fathers who are, who are, who are there? Fathering is money and, and, and building a home, and fathering is a relationship. Yeah. So uh, we are not really, a, we, we, are just, we are just having a lack of responsible male figures. Now, let's go back to the spiritual perspective, or the church perspective. Mm. Uh, you know, as I've said earlier that Nowadays, this, this issue of fatherhood and sonship have been misused and, and, mm. and misunderstood by many people. Now, who do you call a father? Who, who do you call a father? Do you call someone a father because that person has preached to you? Do you call a person a father because that person teaches you you, are, you, you pay tithe to or you give your, your offering to? Who do you call a father? Who qualifies to be your father? Can I give it on my own as yes, well? Not what the, the dictionary says, because the dictionary is somebody's idea. Yes. <laughs> I'll give also my idea, my own dictionary. Yeah, you know, uh, uh, you are born, you are born a boy, and you become, you become a, a, a man, and you become a man. You, 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 you upgrade. You, 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 are, you must take a certain responsibility about your life, and when you are a father, it's not about you. It's about you and those around you. Fatherhood it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a responsibility. It's a responsibility of covering. But a man uh, is responsible. You must be responsible as yourself. People, before you, you graduate to be a father, be a man. Mm -hmm. Because if you, you, are not, you are not a man enough, you won't be a father. Mm -hmm. So uh, 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 fathers, a father is a person who, who has taken a responsibility of making sure that somebody else well-being and welfare is right. Uh, the space of somebody is good because a, a father ma must not invest to, to, to eat. A father must take out what he has to leave a legacy. Mm -hmm. A father is a person that, that, will, that will, would say, after I'm late, I've left something. Yeah. Uh, because uh, if you, you can leave a house and a, and a beautiful car, but they can even vanish while you're still alive. But uh, 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 what you leave as a knowledge, what you leave as uh, uh, 
a, a, a legacy that people will live with after you are dead. A father must make sure that you've transferred knowledge to people. You've made sure that people don't, don't benefit you only. Obviously, you want to be proud of uh, uh, people that you grow, but a father makes sure that the future of somebody is bright. The, the father makes sure that somebody is protected. Not only uh, because the, the first investment is your mind. Your first investment is not your building. Because if you invest in, in tangible things, they always go. But if you invest in, in, in giving somebody, somebody knowledge, that person will always live with that knowledge, even if that person can fall. Because he has knowledge, that person will rise again. So the, the responsibility, who is a father, is a person that makes sure that your future is bright, your, your, your life is good, and, and he trains you. And a father is not a person that, that nurtures you to be good. He, he makes you strong. Your father must make, uh, makes you stronger, you know. Uh, uh, I've written, uh, uh, can I get a bit in of course, the... Of course. Yes. I've written about turtle fathers there and crocodile fathers that there are, there are people uh, who are like the, the two animals that I've just mentioned. A turtle is that thing in the, in the ocean or in the sea that, that uh, gives, uh, lay eggs outside the, the, the seashore and, and makes sure that it covers with salt and it leaves the eggs there and goes back to the water and it does not care what happens to the eggs and, and when, when they are hatching they, they must survive on their own they must make sure that to, to the river they find their own way to, 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 from that space to where they will have a good living they, it's their own survivor but as for the crocodile after laying eggs it keeps guard of, of the eggs that you know what no boot no board. And when they, they hatch, they come close, they, they protect, and they help those, those smaller ones to go to the They protect them along the way. So the, the ones of the turtles, the most majority of them, they never survive to the, to the water. Meaning that there are fathers who are like that, who, who don't care. After giving birth, they just don't care. But, but you've never, that is, not what, that is not what sons need. Sons need to be told. You know, the, the crocodiles will, will, will make sure that oh, this is how you walk, you know. This is, how, this is, this is where we are going. You know, after, after arriving at the water, then the, the, the crocodile will make sure that they are comfortable. Uh, you know, but before they are comfortable in the world, they were trained along the way. Because before, before comfort, there must be training. Yeah. Because whatever you don't invest in, you must not enjoy. Yeah. Whatever you don't invest in, you must not enjoy. Yeah. I wanted to ask about that, that. I mean, as a son, how, how will you feel if you know, someone just threw you away and, and after that when he sees you up, growing up, and, and now you are strong, you know, you have survived yourself and someone just wants to claim that, no, this is my son. I mean, how, how do you do it as a son? Hey, so when I'm going to tina naturalist, I'm my feelings. <laughs> but I'm not my feelings. Yes, I'm my requires responsibility. Yeah. And that's the matter, no, 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 but, uh, Baba yeah. but spiritually, you, are, you have a responsibility. You can't claim what you have not worked for. You can't claim what you have not. I'll give you an example of Paul, no Timothy. You know that Timothy worked with Paul, a study says Timothy worked with Paul for seven years, and there was nowhere where uh, Paul has mentioned the journey. Yeah, can okay, no, Timothy in the seven years? But he was with Timothy. You know what? He was training Timothy. He made sure that he, he, Timothy is becoming trained before he is exposed to the world. So, uh, and, and, and at the end of the mission trip, by Tad along, and then Timothy said, and Paul said rather, Paul said, "This is my son," and he could he could say to Timothy, "My son, Timothy." And Paul and Timothy in the process, Timothy was never hungry for the pulpit. You know, for the seven years, Timothy walked with Paul. But there's no way where it's said, oh, Timothy, what should my group, what hand does it want to go? So we, the, the difference there, yeah, the Lamassans, the Labu Father, the Lamassans, the Lamassans, the Lamassans, the Lamassans, the Lamassans, we want to be a screen is covered in Labu Baba sometimes. And then you find the, the father is not matured in that area of, of long suffering, of making you understand, of teaching. Nobody says, Ababa, 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 Ababa,
product needs a, 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 to be processed. Now, I want to understand this issue. I think I've mentioned it, but you did not actually answer it. Okay. The issue of of tithe and, and you know offerings. <laughs> 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 do, do I qualify only to be your son if I only pay tithe and, and offering? <laughs> if <laughs> if then I don't, <laughs> you know, there, there are those uh, churches where they will write your names, you know, they know who is paying tithe, who is not paying tithe. Mm -hmm. and, and, and if you are not paying tithe, then if you have some problems, maybe funeral or whatever, they'll say, no, this person is not paying tithe. No, it's not, it's not a member of our family. Mm -hmm. So do, do tithe and offerings qualify as one to be a son? No, no, no. I mean, I run a church. And then about but I will keep the tight in the way. I keep it. I was <laughs> not going to be the Hey, you might, you know, uh, uh, Lenta by Titan and his name, Colabana Abacola, Lokum, Tide, Abana Abacola, Mina, I have my own, and uh, uh, I believe in tithe. I believe in tithing because it has worked for me. And I've seen it working for other people that I taught. But uh, I believe with the tithe. You can't claim tight to a person that you've never done a good job to. Hey, uh, uh, you don't, uh, again, tight is not for you. you but the, the most wonderful thing is that you must teach people the word of God. Don't teach them the end result. Because we make things vice versa. Yeah. Yeah. Tight people must, must, must pay, but set a platform. People don't want to give their money to what they don't see. And don't take people where you've never been. Never take people where you've never been. Not that people don't want to pay tight. I don't want to pay tight. I don't want to pay I set an example. I paid tight before them. And they are, my church is only three and they are growing towards that. But uh, after I've said that, I have the right to talk about tithe, but not as, 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 as a must. But as an, uh, me, me, I'm making an example for them to benefit. That is why Paul says, I'm, I'm urging you to give so that it can be added into your account. Yeah. And Paul says to them, mm -hmm. But you are my sons. I mean, I'm answering your question. Is, you, 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 not, you don't have the right to... to to demand tithe from people. Who Paul says, telling you, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, so what I'm trying to say, uh, uh, you, people need to be processed. And, and after many years, I believe Paul has preached to them, then the, their eyes were opened. So uh, we don't have the right to demand. The Holy Spirit must convince people and convict people to do the right thing. That's powerful. Yeah. Now, you, you have mentioned that as a father, your job is to invest for the legacy, not to eat, mm -hmm. you know. And, and I just want to know, I've seen uh, many fathers when it comes to church settings. Uh, when a son grows, you know, a son will come and say, no, now I think it's time God spoke to me. I need to go and open a ministry, you know. And there will be a fight on that until a son will just go out without the blessings of a father. Uh, what really makes, I will ask this question in two ways. Mm. Uh, fathers who reject, who don't allow their sons to go out, who don't release their sons, right? let me just put it like that, who, don't, who are not freely releasing <laughs> their sons. And, and the sons who I believe sometimes, they are not maybe ready to be released. Mm. How, how do we fix that? Because it's both ways. Let me know this thing about uh, there are those who don't want to to release sons because of they are scared of the gap, and there are those who who, who are in competition with their own sons, and uh, and we always say uh, the only best way that you can see that you've worked hard is that you produce somebody better than you. Yeah. Until you've produced somebody better than you, how sad that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. When I always say to imagine. Uh, Make sure that when, when you grow old and before you die, make sure that there's somebody that you're looking on Peggy, they would, hey, my lad, I recall and they are smart me. Because now this is your product. Your product, you must have a product that is better than you. So uh, 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 for, for those who wants to live and then buy later, sometimes it's, it's for a good reason. Uh, sometimes your father knows you, hey, you're not trading this area in this area. And it's always good 
uh, to, to speak to your father. Don't just... Relationships are very important. You know, if you can't relate, your gift without a relationship, some days, you can't relate. If you can't relate, if you can't relate, you know, I was speaking to, to my, to my uh, coach, uh, uh, and he said to me, I want to me make sure that you keep relationships because I mistake someone and never kept relationships. But I regret this and this and this person and this and this father, this man who mentored me. I regret that with why I fought with them. And he said to me, uh, it's very, very bad to, to grow old and still start new relationships. Uh, you know, you must feed them, do this, do that. So in, in terms of, of you, you you need to go out with a, a, a good blessing, but also a relationship. You know, good thing. What what you plant in your life will always benefit you in the future. So, for their sons, I have not. I, I know that. I've, but you must always not retaliate. Never fight the bad thing because it will take you. It will take your energy, and the same energy that you use to fight. A wrong thing is the same energy that you could use to benefit your future. Right. Yeah, so we are taking uh, 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 the energy of C7 Zisa to invest in our ministry and our callings and our character. We use it to, to, to show somebody that I can do it without you. A very, very, very bad, very bad thing to do. So, I mean, I always say, uh, uh, I agree with those sometimes, though they are ready because of uh, uh, some fathers are not ready themselves. And that is why you find Umuntu on a, on a 25 years or 30 years leading the church, but he can't show good, hey, this is my son. Yeah. Umuntu on a, on a 30 years in ministry, but every five years, good leadership. You can't say, this long You know, I have a father in the Nordos, Tumunyong Mazia, Utkali Sondola Kangabantuana. And he was criticized much in a circle. Hey, Utkali Ranga Kerke Yabana, Utkali I, and he has built one of the biggest churches in Mafike. So what I'm trying to say relationships, stay with people, never disconnect. I'm not saying you, you'll have relationships as one forever. Yeah. That those people who, are, who must work with you for a mile. But abandon because they must always be with you. The role of a father to his sons or to his son. Uh, I think you've just you've touched the points when, when you started. But I just wanted to overemphasize okay. it. What is the role of a father to the son? And after that, I want you to also speak about the role of a son <laughs> to the father. <laughs> you know, when I, uh, I was launching this book, I said, uh, the meaning of the word hood, it's, uh, a hood is something that covers your head up to the neck. And, and your whole body depends on the neck and the, and the head to function. And... Uh, uh, the, 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 the role of a father, that's why I wrote fatherhood there, is that you, yourself must have a covering first <laughs> before, you, you become a, before you become a covering to other people. So the role of a father is to, to, to have that hood in, on top of uh, his head and neck so that you, you become safe first. Your thoughts must be safe, your, your, your seeing must be safe, your head must be safe because Without you being safe, everything under you is not safe because you are leading the way. So the role of a father is to make sure that you equip yourself better than people who are following you. Because people who are following you, if they can uh, 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 equip themselves better than you, somehow they might frustrate you. That's what Konamanje is in the problem with Abandubaya Baya Fun that they are getting educated. Abafun is very relaxed, but Abafun is more than a pair. And leading is actually more than a pair. You know, you know who, 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 to be a pastor is more than a pair. That is why the, in the Bible, one of the gifts is administration. I know it's under the head. Monday is under the head. You should have some administrative things. Yeah, you must make sure that people. Uh, are equipped. The role of the father is to make sure that people are equipped spiritually, mentally, and physically. The role of the father is to make sure that you, you are fed in the tree. That is why in the pulpit, I, mean, I always say to, to my friend, pastor friend, that, yeah. 
Mamelewan is in, but I saw Tandas. No man of Nebuk Tandas. That is why I always say, never pray when you have to plan, and never plan when you have, when you have to pray. So, Kora Lava of Nebuk Tandas, when they have to, to plan. Everyone, so, Hindus in Yasu Zomoya Zong. So, teach your people to balance their lives so that they don't get frustrated at the workplace. We want to Namas Kula and Mabasabam Simmons, we want to, I'm not busy. So the role of a father is to, to equip you mentally, physical, make sure that your well-being is right. That's what I said when I started. And the, the role of a son, the son, uh, fatherhood and sonship, uh, I, I always make this example, a good uh, a ship, S-I-S-H-I-P. It's it's uh, this big 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 boat, was taller and and they never come very close to the shore. Because the ship, Abanyabas uh, Bishram, I'm a ferry. I've worked in the Muslim countries in Europe. Uh, I used to see this ferry, big ferries. They carry big and big loads. Tolem parwe moto pumi moto zi three hundred. Puma bantu, puma And the duty of the ship. Is different from the boat. It carries heavy loads. Uh, a ship carries, and the more the more it carries, the more it goes deeper into the ocean. Uh, the more it balances. Go the, uh, they say it can go 30, 30 meters down, meaning that a ship carries and it carries and it never complains. And uh, and uh, uh, the work, the work of a son is to see that the mandate of the father is carried to the other side, and it's not. Whatever comes, whatever storms comes, because for you, for you to survive the storms, for you to survive the storms, you need to be balanced. Because you know, if that ferry in the ocean it did not care, it would be taken by, by, by storms. The reason it, 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 it survives, it is because it's heavy. Nothing will shake it. So if you are carrying nothing, if you are a son and you are empty, ah, you start to also to do like young kids. Mag, maguza le tendu ya, maguza le motivational speaker ya, maguza to do like young kids because your focus is not to the other side. Yeah. So when you when you when you start a journey, your focus must be on the side, not on the other side. That is why when 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 Jesus Christ was saying to them, let's go to the other side, and he gave them direction. That is why whoever took the wrong direction. Gubanama problems. So the work of the sun, the, the sun is to be a sheep, care. On the other side, you must enjoy your and relax. A, a sheep is different from the from the boat. So the boat is that one that that you see on the shore. I must funuk kibala, funuk go pega, go to go and zagalani on the other side. See a kibala, see a thing a speed, sitting a speed. The boat knows everything around, uh, and the, the sheep does not go anywhere. Aye, lena lena, it focuses. So kona lava, lama sans lava. You know, but the young kids don't go to it. You know those ones, you know those sons. Yeah. They different from good they know, and they don't they don't want to carry heavy. When they carry heavy they complain and they avoid ama waves. So so the, the, the duty of the son is to carry the mandate with focus. Not only with focus. Thank you so much. Um, thank you so much for, for this powerful words. <laughs> And you know, I think you're a comedian. <laughs> Have you ever considered being a comedian? The earliest, sometimes they say that when I speak. <laughs> yeah, I know. I think yeah. you must consider that, you know, uh, you must not be only a pastor. <laughs> <laughs> On the other side, you must, you must make money there and yeah. be a comedian. No, thank you. Thank you so much for, for such powerful words. Say. And if people want to get hold of your books, where, where can they get? Yeah, uh, me, I'm a very old fashioned. I'm, I'm like Moses. Moses, but I'm a tablet, I too. Samsung and, the, <laughs> Samsung and the other tablet, <laughs> and he broke them. <laughs> so, so, so I don't know how to use tablets and other technologies. But I'm only on Facebook. So on Facebook, my name is Tabo Solomon Lamin, in brackets, soul. Tabo Solomon Lamin. And I don't have Twitter and other things. And my, can I give my cell phone number? Oh, yes, my cell phone number is 078-815-9432. 078-815-9432. No, wonderful.
And, and I think you must also, you know, you must also do administration part. You must not pray about this. Go to Twitter, go to WhatsApp, <laughs> so that people can get access you know, to you easily. You don't preach about Jesus, so <laughs> not. <laughs> thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. God bless. Ladies and gentlemen, you are watching Inspired Conversations, Living the Legacy with Legends. My name is Unkarabile Wisdom Mukoto, and I'm saying to you, let's meet again on Global Conference TV, The Journey continues. Thank you.